Hello, this is Dr. Ken Henson. I have a concierge medical practice here in Sarasota, Florida. I combine internal medicine and cardiology into a single practice. Part of my role as a concierge physician is to tailor my practice to the needs of individual patients. For a lot of patients, the focus is on preventive medical care. The cornerstone of preventive medical care is really cardiovascular prevention, and that's what we'll talk about today. Heart disease, stroke, vascular disease are far and away the most common causes of death and disability. I'm here today to have a coronary artery calcium score. In my opinion, this is the single most important test for the prevention of heart attacks and of cardiovascular disease in general. A coronary artery calcium score is a completely non-invasive study. It's performed using a state-of-the-art CT scanner. It requires no IV medications. It requires no contrast dye. Uh, it involves very little radiation exposure. A coronary calcium score is a means of detecting coronary artery disease or heart disease in its very earliest stages when prevention is most effective. Early detection is very important for a number of reasons. You know, most people are not aware that an artery has to narrow by 60% or more before it will even show up on a stress test. So by the time your stress test is abnormal, there's really no opportunity for preventive care. It's also important because the majority of people don't get warning signs. Heart attacks tend to occur suddenly. About 50% of the time, you know, the first warning sign of a heart attack is the heart attack. Most people don't have angina or symptoms leading up to it. And for about one out of six patients, the first warning sign of heart disease is sudden cardiac death. For that reason, early detection with tests like a coronary calcium score is vitally important. I'd like to talk a little bit about you know, what the coronary artery calcium score is. It's important to understand that when your body starts to deposit cholesterol in your arteries, there is almost always calcium there. 95% of the time, if there's cholesterol, there's also going to be calcium. Calcium is part of the, what we call plaque or atherosclerosis. So the calcium is a proxy for plaque buildup in the arteries. The good thing about a coronary calcium score is it's really not dependent on age or other risk factors. A 40-year-old with a calcium score of 400 has the same risk as a 70-year-old with the same calcium score. As we start to look here, just for orientation, this is the uh, sternum or breast bone on the front of the scan, the backbone back here. This is a slice through the chest, lungs on each side, heart in the middle. This is the aorta, just above the level of the heart. As we scroll down, we get below the pulmonary arteries, and we'll start to see the coronary arteries come in. The left main coronary comes off the aorta right here, and it'll divide into the left anterior descending, and then the circumflex coming down this way. As we go a little lower, we'll see the right coronary appear over here. Um, if we look, the little white or greenish yellow fleck that we see right there is a little bit of calcium in the left main. And then here is plaque in the left anterior descending or calcium in the left anterior descending. As we come lower, you see another little piece. And then the left anterior descending looks good beyond that. The circumflex artery here also looks good and as we see the right coronary appearing here there's one tiny little fleck of calcium right there in the right coronary and as we go on down toward the bottom of the heart I don't see any additional calcium so that really is what we're looking at when we read a coronary calcium score now the most important thing about a coronary artery calcium score is what you do with the results for that, you need a cardiologist with expertise and experience in preventive cardiology. The, the calcium score is only one piece of the puzzle here. I combine the results of a coronary calcium score with a lipid profile, a treadmill stress test, a carotid artery ultrasound, and an ultrasound of the abdominal aorta and the peripheral arteries. I take 
all of that information and put it together to develop the ideal preventive medical plan for each patient. Our focus today was on coronary artery calcium scoring. It's a very useful technique, but there is no single technique to develop a preventive health plan. This is only one of the modalities that we use. In future videos, we will introduce you to some of the other techniques that we use, and we'll talk about how we put those all together to build the ideal preventive health plan for each individual patient.